impact is how you'll be how you'll be measured in the world. You won't be measured by how much money you have. You, know, you won't be measured by how many things you have. You'll be measured by your impact and how many people you impact in the world. What's going on, guys? So today is um, Monday. Monday, July 8th, 2024, and um, man, I'm just sitting out here, it's a beautiful day, just on the tennis court, and uh, I want to talk about some things. The name of this video is, I have some good news, and the reason why that's the name of this video is because I do, and um, the last couple videos I uh, posted, you know, I've been showing some of the struggle of trying to build a startup company. Some of the struggles that I personally have been having trying to build a startup uh, company. And um, the reason why I'm showing these things is because it's real, right? Uh, I'm a real person. I'm not the typical guy that would be having a startup company. Um, went to Stanford or um, worked in corporate for a bunch of years. Like I'm a guy from the ghettos of Buffalo, New York that made it out because I was an athlete. And um, have started several businesses and up until this point where I'm like, man, this would be the progression to start a startup company through my experience and through what I see as a problem, a major par problem in athletics, right? And um, that's basically why I, you know, why I started, this, you know, my company, All Dreams. Now, the good news that I have is this: you've seen that the rejections from Black Ambition, XRC, BKXL. Uh, I didn't get into Techstars either, Techstar Sports, or I didn't get into Techstars Atlanta. Um, Startup Chili, I got rejected. <laughs> All Dreams got rejected from. However, it's uh, Accelerator in New York called Launch New York that I got an invite for. Earlier this morning, I got this email from Black Ambition Prize, which is Pharrell's investment. Um, Pharrell, the musician and the fashion person, that's his uh, initiative to support black entrepreneurs. And I did, my company, All Dreams, did not make the top 200. Um, companies to be considered for uh, the mentorship and the cash prizes. It's like one of those things where like today has been like uh, sort of like a wake up call again. Like, yo, nobody's going to fucking help you. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody has helped me my entire life. I'm like, yo, nobody's going to fucking help me. Um, the only thing I, I, I possibly can can do is show my journey and tell my story through YouTube um and possibly build a community through there um but no one's going to help fund this application this platform nobody's going to see it and that's twofold right because a lot of people just don't see you know they just overlook great things and i feel like that's what's been happening in my entire life like i feel like i've been just overlooked my entire life and all i keep doing is just telling myself that I am great and telling myself that um, like I deserve an opportunity so um, I really came to the point where I'm just like yo I don't really I, I, I don't really care about 
not being a part of black ambition i don't really care about not being a part of tech stars i don't really care about not being part of bkxl and i feel like i was like yo i just wasted my time you understand what i'm saying like somehow some way i need to get my platform going and just go out and sell and talk to people make that shit something and then um and look back at all these people and say you guys were fucking wrong you were wrong about this but in the meantime it's later on in the day it's like close to four o'clock and uh yesterday i had an interview with uh, a guy from this thing called launch new york and um it was like a 30 minute interview and i'm pitching and uh we get to the end of the pitch and i'm like yo so how did i do and he's like uh i said well how was my pitch he's like yo do you have any questions that's what he asked me and i'm like um so how did i do and he says well it's not good <laughs> um but you know a lot of information you have a lot of information and that's what we do is we help um founders or whatever so i wasn't looking for i wasn't you know really um paying attention to what could happen i probably thought that maybe i did a decent enough job where they felt that they could help me and i would get a recommendation but i thought that would take a little while but today i opened up the email again and look so i spoke to the to the entrepreneur in residence uh about my business and they would like to invite me to join launch new york's go big founders go big program and tomorrow i have the onboarding uh meeting to start that accelerator and that's the good news is because i you know like just say anyone wanted to start a startup and they just see failure after failure watching my videos um that would be a re really really discouraging but i'm going to show the you know the progression as we have little successes as well also a little success was like my second you know my second or third video uh the pitch for 100k investment so like you have to first you put in an application then you possibly get a you know a first interview so that was showing the first interview i'm not sure if i'll get a second interview for that accelerator but that's also a progression and also good news um in that journey but we did get an invite to launch new york and it's a uh, specific program it's called founders go big and um it's a three-month accelerator where they give you the mentorship and help you you know help you with your pitch and you know help you hone in um your business so you can go out and get more investment now these are also my thoughts right because i mentioned in my videos that i came to the united states in order to apply for these accelerators um a few of these accelerators it was like mandatory that you had to be in the united states so that's what I did, but I also had came my, my daughter's uh, senior prom and her graduation, and you know, spend time with my, my daughters as well. Um, was a, a huge, huge part of me coming. Which, if you know me, then you know you guys don't know me, but I go back and forth to the states because of my daughters, really. Um, but it's also. Uh, It's also kind of bad news getting into an accelerator um, because I've really, really been thinking about this, you know, this whole startup thing. And um, like my ties to the United States, I've really been thinking about as well, where it's like, man, do I really want to build company with this bullseye on the American dream when I don't want the American dream I want to be in Colombia and live on a lower scale 
have a higher quality, you know, have a higher quality of life and just raise a family. Like, like my, what I want is a wife and I want two sons at this point in my life and raising millions of dollars and venture, venture capital and doing this, you know, the, the things that you have to do and I just don't know if that I, I don't think I, I actually I know that I don't want that you know um, perfect world I can get in one accelerator build you know build my platform and go from there and, and scale it up not with the, the vision of trying to raise millions of dollars and trying to be this huge billion dollar company, which when I started, it was, you know, that was the, that was the vision. But my visions are changing because I see exactly what that, you know, what that's about. And I, I've seen what's the, what, you know, I've seen that. And that's the reason, one of the reasons why I moved to Columbia in the first place is because like, you know, I was living in Atlanta and it was just daily consumerism and that's just not that's just not my life you know like health is you know what I'm I, I want you know I'm big on I want to be as healthy as possible um, family you know I want to like I said you know have a family a wife and and two sons and raise them the way that I want to raise them as being a uh, um, father of three daughters you know my two oldest daughters I wasn't able to raise them how I want to raise them you know and I see the effects from that as they you know go into the world you know my oldest daughter being you know going into college but I see what I would do how she would be raised was just not how I would raise her. You know, she would just have a, a, a different, you know, I want to, you know, she would, I want to say she would be a different person, but she would have um, a different disposition, a different viewpoint of the world. Um, and I want to give that a shot again. Like I said, I want to have a wife, but this time I would like to be married and have a wife and have uh, two sons. The things that that I would say is uh, I don't know if I want that American dream anymore, honestly. Well, the thing I would say is I know that I don't want that American dream anymore. Like this building this this huge company. Like I, I went to the Tech Stars event. Like I see how all of this shit works and the networking, the fakeness, you know what I'm saying? Like I, you, you gotta get into somebody's face like, and talk to them, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I just don't wanna do any of that stuff. You know, like I believe that you can build something without doing all of that type stuff, you know? being that, you know, those those people that just go network, I think you can still build something significant. And when I say build something significant, I still think, I still believe that I can build a million dollar company, $10 million company, and still be successful at that level. That money, you know, will be able to do wonders in, in living in Colombia. And one of the most one of the most things, probably the most thing that why I want to build my company is impact. Like, it's so many athletes in the world and I'm telling you, like athletes, it takes so much to really become an athlete, to really become a really, really good athlete. And um, you get to a certain point, whether it be some some 
athletes, most athletes don't go to college to play Division One. What do they do when they're like, man, okay, I had this athletic dream and I worked so hard through grammar school and through high school and now it's over. Or that college player that worked so hard through grammar school, high school, college, and then he doesn't go pro. Or that pro player that only, pro, you know, that works so hard through grammar school, high school, college and makes it pro but they you know their career is over two years out of college just like mine was right um what do they do right it's great to have you know um the professional that you know that that goes for 20 years but that's not common athletes life span is very very short and that's why it's important to you know for us to have these different stories to to be able to look back on and that's what the dreamers vote is i want to talk about why i've been putting out videos daily and i hope to continue to put out videos daily consistently even if it's just a short video with my thoughts um the reason why is because like I said, this big idea of the American dream that everybody is chasing, everybody is chasing this dream of being financially just rich, I believe. And I definitely have been... Uh, A person in that in that realm you know chasing the big house the cars the the money everything throughout my entire journey like I, you know like I believe that hey I was I believe that I would get it through being a professional basketball player then I believed like okay well if I can't do it through that then do it through rap and then do it through entertainment through the production company then th do it through selling uh shows you know um do it through fashion and um now i come to the conclusion and throughout this whole thing like i've been filming this entire journey but i haven't been giving it to the people i've been holding it i've been hoarding this journey on hard drives and not sharing the experience and now it's like man I think I missed a lot of opportunity to show the journey and maybe I was kind of kind of ashamed or embarrassed to show where I was at but then now I see people that are overseas and all they do all they do is YouTube and they're trying to do a YouTube channel I was always ashamed of doing that like I was ashamed of like not having anything and just doing a YouTube channel and now I'm like man like all I really want to do is YouTube to be honest with you I want to build all dreams but I don't want to build I don't want million millions of dollars in investments I don't you know I don't see that for myself I see building a company scaling it and you know being able to tell athlete stories, right? You know, and giving them, you know, a platform where people can support them so they can do their training and things like that. But I don't see this huge billion dollar thing, like, because even short, in this short term of what I've experienced in this, you know, building this company, I've had like my co-founder, he tried to fuck me over, you know? Like people, like, really really be on shit about this money shit man like for real talk like your mother has stabbed you in the back over some fucking money man like this shit is real like it's so real and man like bro I've got fucked over because so many times because yo I just like be a gen I just like to be a genuine person like for real like um, but just going back to you know why I'm making videos every day is, is I just want to do YouTube. 
I just want to show the journey, you know, like hopefully, hopefully somebody can get some value out of, you know, me showing this journey. Uh, I'll be going back to Columbia soon. Uh, I wanted to wait until this onboarding uh, interview, which is tomorrow. Like I said, like I had that first interview for that one accelerator. I don't know if I'll get a second interview, but I'm not waiting. Um, because, man, I think I don't want to go to Columbia and just do YouTube and just do daily uploads about whatever is going on and different topics. And hopefully I can add some value. I still think any and everybody should be building something, whether it be a YouTube channel, whether it be a startup, whether it be a small business, a t-shirt line, something, you know, people should be building something. Um, that's always the key is to be building something purposeful and I would say like hopefully people are building something that makes some type of impact uh, impact is how you'll be how you'll be measured in the world you won't be measured by how much money you have you, know, you won't be measured by how many things you have you'll be measured by your impact and how many people you impact in the world and that's what I believe people should be chasing after is building something to make impact, to make some type of change in the world. And that's what I'm chasing after. Um, but I think that's all I had on my notes for today. But yeah, the good news is I did get into an accelerator in New York called Launch New York. And um, We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, you know, I get into that other other accelerator. Uh, if so, I will be going to uh, Birmingham, Alabama in September for 12 weeks, uh, going through that accelerator. And um, yeah, but we're not gonna stop building, but I'm, I would personally like to just build my YouTube channel. And I think that's the, the most, realistic way that I want to build my company is through going through this journey on YouTube authentically and not chasing something that I am not that I will never be and that's very very important because I will never be a Stanford dropout I will never be a Goldman Sachs um, stock, per, uh, what do they call those guys? Um, I don't even know, investment banker, <laughs> right? You know, that turns and, you know, turns and quits that and starts a startup or I will never be any of those guys like, you know, um, and I'm okay with that. So I'm just embracing who I am and I'm just going from there. I can't wait to, whoa, that was crazy. But I can't wait to get back to Columbia and um, make content every single day, uh, try to add some value. So that's it for this video, peace.